I'm actually born in Johannesburg, went to school in Derbs, and I've been living in Cape Town for the last, mm, since 2000, the uh, last 13 years or so. So for me, it's I've got to tailor make. Every person's different. So you've got to get enough information from a client to, to allow for you to tailor make something that suits them 100%. For me, it's just this insatiable passion that I have for what I do and, and, and the places that we have and, and sell. And I just, and for me, it's very experiential. I'm all about experience. I try to sell places and experiences that I've experienced. I'm not going to say to you, well, I recommend this because I've heard it's great. I can say, I've been there. This is amazing. You have to have to do it. I'm not kidding you. This is going to change your life. For me, it's about the people. I want to, I'm passionate about people and I'm passionate about passionate about the bush and wildlife and, and the ocean and generally just being outdoors um, so it's just you know sucking it up and getting on with it it is stressful the hours are very long I'm not going to kid you um, but the feedback that you get sometimes that it brings you to tears is that you know you've made somebody's dream come true and there's not a lot of people that can actually say that they make people's dreams come true and that for me is probably the most rewarding thing of it I'd like to see Malawi um, just from from the lake perspective and, and I, I'm a bit of a water baby myself so I enjoy that you know that water-based experience but I am also a massive um, predatory person in terms of apex predators um, so I'd like to do the southern section of Tanzania which I haven't done yet um, and I'd like to definitely go and trek with the gorillas because I think that for me would be bucket list material. It's like this mirror of waterways, the Okavango Dells are sitting in the middle of a landlocked country and for me that blows my mind. Um, but then also you've got diversity of activities, so you've got boating and you've got Makoro trails and you've got the guided walks and the game drives. And I don't think you get that diversity of, of scenery and landscape and activities. So like the best all-round experience anywhere else in Africa for me personally.